Hey, what's up guys? Just wanted to do a quick review of a 100 watt, uh, 32 cell, 12 volt solar panel I picked up off of Amazon and I'll include all the info in the links. Uh, I built this PVC frame for it. I can, it's adjustable. Um, it's all has, you know, it's either PVC connected with uh, stainless steel bolts and wing nuts and washers in order to secure it to the frame, uh, which works out really well. It gives you a lot of different options, uh, you know, to mount it or dismount it if you want to lay it flat. And then here, showing the back uh, with the uh, connections to the actual frame itself, and then connecting to the MC4 cables that I have, which then connect to, surprise, surprise, one of the solar generators I've built. And uh, that seems to be working out really, really well. Very little voltage drop uh, given the length of cable that I'm using. Hey, I just also wanted to point out that there are eyelets on the bottom of the frame and then the bottom of the legs. Uh, the adjustable legs in the back. The reason I did this was for conditions where maybe you're under wind or you have particular uh, mounting needs. Um, you want to get a good solid anchor uh, for the frame so you can secure it and make sure it doesn't get knocked over or uh, whatever. So some simple uh, tent spikes or um, in my case I bought some of these. Um, they're basically like corkscrew type anchors uh, that hold well in loose soil uh, like sand or uh, gravel uh, that may not uh, work well with a straight spike and uh, those eyelets have worked out great uh, for my use cases. All right, these next couple of pictures I wanted to showcase a solution I came up with uh, to a challenge I had with my lithium iron phosphate battery. These batteries come with a battery management system and what happens is when you drain them down they get through the low voltage disconnect uh, state, they shut down. So the only way you can get it to wake back up is you have to connect it directly to uh, an electrical source like a charger. But in this case, the uh, solar charge controller sees that the battery uh, is dead and does not wake it back up or provide any voltage output. So what I did, uh, based on a lot of your recommendations, is just make a simple fix for this. Uh, essentially what I did is took these alligator clips, connected them to Anderson power pole adapter so I can swap in and out uh, different endpoints on the uh, solar panel itself. And then I just simply, you know, jump the battery to wake up the BMS system, plug these, um, the solar panel back in the generator and I'm off and running. So simple couple dollar fix to uh, a challenge I was facing uh, with these battery types, but tried it with these panels, plenty of power and uh, it did the trick. What I've been most impressed with this panel, uh, as you'll see here in a second, is that we do hit actually a 100 watt uh, output, uh, which is fantastic. I mean, you're watching that on the load side, so the battery pulled in 100 watts there for a second. I'm getting a little haze right now in this particular segment, but then the sun, full sun comes back out. Um, and again, this is not something I've seen typically with panels. They tend to be, you know, 20% less of their rating, sometimes, you know, 30, 40% of their real cheap panels, but uh, very, very happy with this. Uh, look, you know, maintaining about 96 watts there. Uh, again, law of averages, but uh, I'll take the uh, that output, especially in a portable unit like this. Um, and then what you're going to see here in the next clip is some shading effects and MPPT kicking in and helping out uh, with that impact. All right, well, let's see how this thing handles uh, some shading. So you're gonna see it come into view here in a second. And that MPPT controller uh, kicking in and helping out in that shading type scenario. Um, you know, look at the significant drop, but again, still maintaining, you know, above 20 watts, which is not bad uh, in some shade. Uh, but again, a, this is a very small type application. I think the MPPT controllers, uh, especially when you're uh, out and about, you want to get maximum throughput. Um, I know that PWN controllers are cheaper, but guys literally spend a little bit more money and you can get uh, much better throughput uh, with those MPPT controllers. There's no excuse nowadays not to get them. The prices have dropped significantly uh, and you can see the results of uh, making that uh, type of investment. So. Again, very pleased uh, with the throughput. Look, it goes all, all the way back up to the high 80s uh, from an output perspective. Well, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe. 
feel free to share. And uh, if you want to have a particular project uh, showcased uh, by me, please feel free to visit my patron site and uh, donate there. And I'll see what I can do from a timing perspective to get that out. Thanks for watching.